which would-be poets is likely to lose their job this week? Is it the uh, the baker? It's the cheeky baker. It is the cheeky who's baker. Who's been the board baker. He's been putting these haikus in packets of, of biscuits and branches of Sainsbury's. We'll take a look at them. Enjoy your cookies. Every bite is a minute I'll never get back. <laughs> Yeah, Here, that's an haiku, that, isn't it? Is, is it? Uh, yeah, uh, the next one, days, yeah. £7 an hour is the price of my labour. Loyalty costs more. Hey, he's good. He's, he's on fire. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you make of this one, John? Been sneezing all day. Good thing HIV cannot be passed on. Like that. That's, that's good news from the guy who's baking your yes. stuff. It's reassuring. Who knew he was an incurable romantic? <laughs> And what are the rules? It's got to be three lines, five, seven, five syllables, like this one. Smarter men than I have been total idiots. I've met them all. <laughs> <laughs> or to freeze the moment in 17 syllables is very difficult. <laughs> it's the one that I'm most known for. This is Yaya Torre and the Furore about his... How many, was that a haiku you just did? Was there a, was there a rhyme in there? Furorian. No, there's no rhyme in it. Oh, there's no rhymes. Can you do that one again as a limerick? Yeah. The Yaya Torre and the Furore. Who set off a Furore. Yeah. He wanted a cake. But a ten of them stick. <laughs> <laughs> they said this is a rubbish story. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! That, that was like a posh version of Eight Mile. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yaya Toure and the Furore See about what I mean? his... <laughs> <laughs> this is Yaya Toure and the Stramash about his disappointing <laughs> 31st birthday party. <laughs> oh, you're good. Yeah. Where apparently he celebrated being six years old. <laughs> Manchester City have tried to make amends by buying him a princess outfit. 